In this video, I show you how to cut out an image in Photoshop. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Firstly, you need to go and open up the photo you want to go and cut out in Photoshop. To do this, go to the top left of Photoshop and go and tap on file. Then what you need to do is go and tap on open. I've now gone and opened the image in Photoshop. And what we need to do is make sure that it isn't set as the background layer, as you can see currently it is. So all you need to do is go and tap on the padlock icon on the right hand side. And now the next thing we need to do is go over to the left hand side of Photoshop to the toolbar. And what we need to do is go and select this tool here called the object selection tool. You can alternatively press W. Now you may have another tool selected here as well. So if you do, just hold your mouse on it. And as you can see, you may have the magic wand tool, but make sure you select the object selection tool. Now, if you don't have this here, I'll show you what to do because some older version of Photoshop may not have it. But if you do have the object selection tool, then the next thing we need to do is just go and select the mode. So where it certainly says rectangle, tap here, and you can go and have lasso or rectangle. So if you've got a more complicated image, a lasso tool may be better, but in this case, a rectangle should do fine and we can go and drag around it. So all I'm going to do is hold and click just here and it's gonna go and select it just like this and then I'm going to go and let go like that. It will then take a moment and it's going to go and process this and it's going to go and select around the image for you just like so. If you think that it's missed something or it's going to select it too much then what we can do is go to the top left and we've got these options here. So this tool here is um, add to selection and then we've got uh, uh, subtract from selection as well. So if you go and select one of these which you want to go and use and then what you can do is go and draw around what you want to go and add or select for example and if the, uh, the rectangle tool isn't working well then go to the mode and go and use the lasso tool and then that's going to go and add it or remove it depending on the mode you've gone and selected and just going back a moment if you didn't have the object selection tool then what you'll need to do is go over to the left hand side and what I recommend using is the polygonal lasso tool or if you hold your mouse on it you can go and use the standard lasso tool and then what you'll need to do is go and zoom in using control and plus like so or command and plus if you're on a Mac and then just go and manually go and click around the object like so and try and do it as precise as possible I'm just doing it as a quick example there. Once you've gone and selected the piece of the image which you want to go and cut out using the lasso tool, I'll show you what through in just a moment. But if you're using the object selection tool, which is the first way I showed you, then all you now need to do is go and tap on select and mask like this. And then what we can do is go and choose how the smoothness of it, the feather, the contrast and things like that. Uh, so yeah, make it as smooth as you like. I want it a bit smooth and then go and tap OK. And then as you can see, we've now gone and finished that and it's still selected, so don't worry. So now if you're using this lasso tool as well, this part's gonna apply to you. Now what we need to do is go and remove the background. So to do this, what you can do is just go and press on the back button on your keyboard like so. And as you can see, it's gone and cut it out. However, it may have gone and cut out the wrong piece. If this is the case, just go and press Control Z. And what we need to do is go and inverse the selection. To do that, just go to the top left of Photoshop and go and tap um, select, and then go and tap inverse like that, and then go and press delete or back, and it will then be removed. If you find that the back or delete button on your keyboard isn't removing the background, then don't worry you can always go and use the eraser tool go over to the left and go and tap on the eraser tool go and increase the size of it and then what you can do is just go and remove it using that and then you can go and unselect the layer by pressing ctrl d and there we go you can then press ctrl t and you can go and adjust the size of it and you can go and put it on other backgrounds and do whatever you want with it if you guys found this useful please consider leaving a like peace